In a previous video, we already looked at top and tail editing the way I prefer to set it up. Be sure to watch that video first, otherwise this one here isn't really gonna make uh, much sense to you. So the way we have it set up now is I can of course press Q for my top edit, right? I can press W for my tail edit. I'm in uh, selection mode. If I was in trim mode, I can do the same exact edits. I can press Q for the top and now it's gonna ripple down or control Z, W for my tail edit and then everything is still gonna ripple down. But that of course is dependent upon, as we discussed in that video, that's dependent upon the mode that we're in. Now I'll also mention there is another way to set this up if you always want it to ripple. And that is come up here to trim and under ripple, you'll see start to playhead. And the default keyboard shortcut is control shift left bracket or for the end control shift right bracket. If you remember from the previous video, our defaults for trim start and trim end used to be control right bracket or control left bracket, okay? So now watch what happens if I just choose a start to playhead and we are in selection mode. I click that and we get the ripple. So let me control Z. Now I'll just use the keyboard shortcut, control shift left bracket, and that's gonna ripple even though we're in selection mode. So if you prefer that behavior, head back up to your keyboard up here, keyboard customizations, and go ahead and switch around your Q and W keys, all right? So we could click uh, Control, Shift, Bracket, click right here, and then we could just remove our shortcut there, and we can give it a different key, or we could give it Q as we have previously, and just overwrite that, or maybe give it uh, E or something like that. If you wanted to have both options available to you at all times, you can go ahead and set that up here. I'm not gonna show you how to set it up here because we already saw that in the previous video. I'm just making a note of it here, just in case uh, for those people who prefer for their top and tail to always ripple regardless of the mode that they're in. So I'm not gonna change anything, but feel free of course to change whatever you want in here, just as we did in the previous video. I personally prefer just simply changing our modes. It's much quicker, it's much easier. So again, selection mode, go ahead and trim that out, control Z or B in trim mode and same exact shortcut and now everything ripples. And lastly, we'll come up here to trim again and look at resize. Now, if we choose start to playhead under resize, guess what that does? Even though we're in our trim mode, boom. That does the same exact trim as if we were in selection mode and pressed Q in this case. Okay, so you see why I have it set up the way I have it set up? Because it's just much quicker to simply change by either clicking A or T and then just using Q or W. Much, much uh, quicker to do it that way, in my opinion. But if you want to set it up so it always ripples again, you can do it real quick here. Control, Shift, or Command, Shift on Mac. Choose that, click that, put in whatever you want, then choose your end to playhead and put in whatever shortcut you want. Okay, so that is a little bit more on top and tail editing here in DaVinci Resolve.